Ag Mukasin! Oh, your majesties! I, your, what, 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 your majesties, what? What? Get yeah. away, oh. don't eat. What, what? <laughs> Get away. Call up Mitchell's release. Yes! Wait, wait, wait. Shush. Okay. Oh, oh, not your words. <laughs> Their Majesties wish to see Mistress Felice Devage. She <laughs> <laughs> okay, <you> stays, you go. <laughs> All gentles and nobility. Let it be known that we, Kellogg, king by right of arms of the Middle Kingdom, and Vukasin, our beloved queen, send greetings. For as much as it is the privilege of the crown to recognize certain nobility, and we have seen such nobility in Felice Devage, and we are pleased to bestow upon her the right to style herself as a baroness of our court. in this barony of Cinnabar, through the day and into the night, in honor of Terpsichore. From their thrones in the great halls, their majesties, Kellick and Vukasin, Rex et Regina Mediterranean, extended greetings to all nobles and gentles alike who hear these, their words. For as much as it is the privilege of the crown to recognize certain nobility of skill and service, and that we have seen such nobility in Alina of Foxwood, we are pleased to bestow upon her the right to style herself as a baroness of our court. <laughs> Will you not send me away in that case? <laughs> <laughs> and you won't, you won't say quick where are we again? <laughs> <laughs> then if we could have the laurels of dance up. No, this time I think it's safe, guys. <laughs> Well, uh, your majesty, uh, 
Oh, 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 she's coming. <laughs> Your Majesties, we would like to beg a boon. Ask him if it be a right and proper thing, it shall be yours. We ask that you elevate Kwame to the Order of the Laurel. <laughs> the Majesties call forth all members of their noble Order of the Laurel to come forward. We know the floor is really bad. If you guys want to take a knee, you don't have to. <laughs> Good masters and mistresses, is it your opinion that Guami is worthy to be numbered among yourselves into the is worthy? You want Guami to be a laurel? <laughs> Call forth the candidate. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Kwame on parade, you may now present yourself before their majesty. <laughs> Test to Guami's courtesy and chivalry. Your Majesties. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, what? I, I have words for Your Majesties <laughs> from Her Excellency Countess Judith. Okay, that's if okay. I may share that. <laughs> Most magnificent majesties, fellow colleagues, and gentle company all, greetings from Judith, Samita, Magistra, Laurel, I, etc. For those who do not know me, I hail from the mighty kingdom of Drakenwald. Mighty. <laughs> Today I have the honor and pleasure of testifying to the deeds and achievements of one of the greatest, most giving people in my far flung acquaintance, Kwame. I have known Guami from his earliest days in our noble society. Since the moment I met him, I recognized him as more than merely a ridiculously avid dancer, <laughs> but as a truly generous spirit, one who, give up, who would give up himself until nothing remained but a sweet memory. This very ethos of self-sacrifice and generosity has benefited the dance community above all, and not just that of the august kingdom of the middle, but of the whole society of the whole world. For Guami served for years as my right-hand man at the Pinzik School of Dance. For those of you who do not understand what this really means, indulge me for a moment. The Pinzik School of Dance is the largest, longest, and most hyper-scheduled gathering of Renaissance dancers, not only in the known world of our society, but in the entire world at large. Nowhere else can one take eight consecutive hours of medi medieval and Renaissance dance for a period of 10 days, followed by social dancing and balls every single night until the wee hours of the morning. The task of organizing this one aspect of Pinzik alone is fairly gargantuan, and for numerous years, Kwame was a tireless soul who quietly and without prompting bolstered me and stepped in whenever anything was needed, whether hauling awkward water receptacles, single-handedly building the greatest parquet floor of the dance pavilion, stepping in to cover another teacher's dance class. In fact, he is so devoted and dedicated to the cause of dance that he has been known to drive 30 hours round trip just to be present for 24 hours, using that precious time to help set up or tear down the dance floor. Those are only a few of the many examples of his service to the art of dance in the known world. The list is truly infinite. As to Guami's qualities, he embodies everything a peer of the realm should be, self-sacrificing to a fault, humble, kind, gentle, and above all, non-judgmental. In a world of rash appraisals and rampant prejudice, this is a man who strives for objectivity, who will give even the most heinous offender the benefit of the doubt. Many of us could learn a great deal from the example that this modest man sets forth every single day. I know I certainly could. 
In short, I believe Kwame would give not only his life's blood, but his very soul for the benefit of many. For this reason, he is most surely deserving of the accolade of peerage, and for this reason, he is most surely my peer. Thank you. As a member of the Order of the Chivalry, who will attest to Kwame's skills in the arts and sciences. <laughs> Got something to say? <laughs> uh, I am given this great honor to speak on Guami's behalf as a member of the Order of the Chivalry. Guami. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Strom von Berzog, founding baron of this great barony, pelican and knight. And I am here to speak for Lord Guami. <laughs> Guami has displayed many of the chivalric virtues, but best and most of all is a little-known one called Schwa de Vie, or love of life. Joy. Whenever I see Guami, he makes me happy, despite his disturbing obsession with purple. <laughs> Kwame is helpful and kind and a good man. He helps teach and carry and lift without need for thanks or praise. And that is truly a virtuous and good man. I recommend him, Your Majesty's, for your order of the law. Thank you very much. Is there a companion of the Pelican who would speak for Guami? If it please Master Philip, I would like to speak. <laughs> Your Majesties, if it please you, I would like to speak. <laughs> On Bobby's behalf. I am Master Benair McCarvick, Kingdom Seneschal of the Great Middle Kingdom, for Your Majesties, Baron of the Court, Pelican. Guami. <sighs> <laughs> His service has been brought up by others. What he's done for dance, what he's done at Penzik, what he's done for the known world dance with his website and hard work. But what strikes me most about his service is the lack of drama involved when he does it. When everyone else is going crazy and curveting around saying, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? His response is, it just needs to get done. <laughs> So he will be the first on site to set it up. And he will be the last to close the doors when dancing is done. It just needs to be done. This, Your Majesty, just needs to be done. Thank you. Guami, right mindful of your service in society, in response to the wishes of these your peers, we are resolved to create you a master of the laurel. As the laurel wreath has ever stood for excellence, so do we give it to you as a symbol of the mastery of your art. Therefore, will you, Guami, give us your word to continue to fulfill the requirements for the governance of this order as you most surely have done till now? The answer, I will. <laughs> <laughs> will you increase your labors nobly, increase your talents as befit one of your rank, and seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the society? Of course. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Do you promise to train any dependents you may have to do likewise? Yes. Is there a medallion? <laughs> <laughs> it's just purple one. <laughs> Would that be suitable, Your Majesty? <laughs> Take from our hands the symbol of nobility and token of our esteem. Wear it proudly that all may recognize your skills and your service as we have acknowledged it this day. So we would have your own. Right. I here swear fealty and service to the crown of the Middle Kingdom to ever enrich the crown with my talents and abilities 
to promote the diverse arts. <coughs> to, to continue the instruction of my dependents to increase the glory of the Middle Kingdom and to prove worthy of this wreath I wear. Thus I swear, Rami Antorte. This do we hear and shall never forget, nor fail to reward that which is given. Fealty with love, service with honor, oath breaking with justice. <laughs> Uh, late covering. And the middle 